Hello everyone, how are you? Thanks so much for joining me here. We are live both on my page and on Essential Stencils page. We're going to be doing something, uh, working on a new something that's coming out, being released uh, by Essential Stencil on Friday. So we're going to be making two signs today. I always um, make sure I have a couple of projects on hand in case one goes really super quick and then we can do another one. So here is the first one I'm going to do just on some plywood and I've taped with some painter's tape halfway um, across because I'm going to do be, be doing a two-toned look today on something. We've got a bit of a horse western theme going on today. So one of the stencil sets that I'll be using is Wild as the West. So I'm going to use a couple of different colours uh, just a chocolate colour, a dark, dark brown and a white and I'll be using the Fusion Mineral paints here today and um, I'm also going to be doing a larger sign so later on when I get to this one it's a huge board and it's got it looks like a sort of a crooked edge but it's a live edge although it's very smoothed over it's not live live edge like you would normally see live edge wood that's the raw side there mentioned so one of the stencils I'll be using for that project is this one which is life is better on the farm it's been very popular and it's got farm sweet farm on the other side you know I noticed a bundle on uh, essential stencils website today and it's called life is better on the farm bundle and if you get that bundle it's um, you'll get a discount it's called better on the farm bundle and you'll find a set of brushes, these two stencil sets, Life is Better on the Farm and Live Like Someone Left the Gate Open, that's a two stencil set, and Farm Stencils as well. So that's, but I'll be using this set along with some new, with some new transfers that I haven't showed you yet. So let's get started on our project and I will get to those, don't you worry. And it's all horsey themed. Uh, and they will be available limited supply from Friday in essential st essentialstencil.com website. They are horse transfers. So here is the horse transfers. Very, very limited supply. So not available till Friday. Okay, so we're just going to show you that and let you know that uh, you can grab these on Friday and if I know essential stencil they usually I am going to be painting this board here <coughs> and we'll be doing those stencils in a minute so I've taped off I've measured around about halfway down the board taped that off this is the side I'll be painting first and I'll do that the white and then I'll go on with the brown color so we're going to do white and then brown across here when I'm painting white on a um, on a painter's tape. I'm trying to get as much as I can on this part of the board first, get all that. And this is raw, raw wood, so it's going to be a little bit tin. Um, now I'm going down towards here. I'm not going across because I don't want anything to bleed underneath the, I don't want any paint to bleed underneath the painter's tape. A little bit like stenciling, similar way. And they'll be available on Friday. So if you're thinking about using any of the stencils today, buying any of the sets, don't forget to use my code iRestoreStuff. So I can still see, that's got quite good coverage actually, that's a little off-white, a slightly grey colour. It's called, it's a furniture paint by Fusion Mineral Paint called Lamp White. You can use any acrylic craft paint for stenciling. Okay, so now I can take the tape off. And I will use the hairdryer to um, to dry that again because well, then we're going to tape the next section and then do this next section brown. Oh, that's a bit. <coughs> so fairly quickly. Now I'm going to use this chocolate colour. I just feel like it's going to go nicely with our horses. Now we are using a stencil set today, and the stencil set one of them is going to be this one. Wild as the West, and I'll show you the six stencils in that in just a moment. Just want to get this going and dry. Why not? I think I could probably just reuse this tape. So this is the colour Chocolate. It's a rich, dark, dark brown from Fusion. And probably I will only need um, one coat of this, I'm guessing, of the chocolate. So see how I'm just going this way in the direction of the grain, but it's also 
moving it away from the painter's tape, which similar to stenciling, you want to stay away from pushing it under the tape accidentally and making fuzzy edges or having it sort of bleed, we call that. Hopefully I've made my line see, nice and crisp there. The stencil set we're going to be using for this first one is Wild as the West. It's a six pack set and we have Wild as the West. We've got the horseshoe and the horse. We've got gorgeous boots and sunflowers. And we've got a yeehaw, take a bath, you dirty cowboy, and also a cowboy on a horse. This is my idea of, of this, I think. It's going to go like this. And like this, I hadn't quite decided whether I was going to do it up the other way. Hmm. But I, yes, I think I'm right. This is shorter than this. <laughs> so let's see. The horseshoe will fit better on the brown, which doesn't work as well for what I wanted to do. I was hoping I'd do the horseshoe in brown. Oh, that'll be okay. I could do that still. Doesn't matter. And then the horse will stand out on there because I'm going to do a horse transfer here instead of this horse. So to do that, I'm going to have to tape off a little bit of horsey around here because I want to use my transfer horse instead. Now I'm going to use one of my stencil brushes. So don't forget there's that bundle earlier that included stencil brushes in it that has the um, farm sign and the farm transfers and everything. So that's kind of stuck there because of this tape in the middle here. So it's not shifting anywhere, which is great. And we'll use the brown. Um, the brown. I'm dipping it in there. If you've never stenciled before, here's your basic stenciling tips. Then we want a piece of cardboard, I just recycle cardboard, to offload, that's called offloading your brush. Make sure that's all offloaded on there. <clears throat> so when you're stenciling, you want a fairly dry brush and that gives you the best chance of neat, neat edges without any sort of going underneath the edge, okay? The second board I'm gonna do today, I've already prepped that one so I won't be doing a, a long and tedious intro to <laughs> painting a board um, but what I did with my second board is I whitewashed it so just grabbing a little bit more on the brush and I'll still offload it each time making sure so we've got some bridges down here there's one that's quite long and skinny so I'm just going to make sure I'm careful around that I'm sort of doing a pounce and swirl not a full swirl around here I can kind of swirl it a little bit more I forget it's got sort of that rusty brown look that a horseshoe might be maybe they're more silver Color, but I made a project, so I'm going to lift the stencil up now. Whoop. It's very stuck down because of my tape. Yes, painter's tape is your friend because otherwise that, if it was any other kind of tape, it would have stuck to the surface. All right, we're getting ready to do this stencil, but here it is so far. We've got the horseshoe down the bottom, this at the top. We are going to put one of the new horse transfers down in here. So at the top, I'm going to just do a, while this is drying, I'll do a wild as the west stencil on the top there. And I can just use a bit of painter's tape two-toned thing happening and I'll just use my small brush so the brushes come in a set of four four different sizes okay now I'm going to offload this again I've got quite a blob of paint right here that I can go back into that one but yeah if you've got any questions about stenciling or about anything we're doing please pop that in the comments because uh, we 
are so willing and eager to help you. If I don't see the comments, Essential Stencil can answer questions. And of course, we have our beautiful Essential Stencil community here, lots of which are a Stencil of the Month club members. Um, we have lots of experienced stencilers here who watch our lives every week, full of lots of great tips and information. So. There is a new release of transfers. I'm going to just drop those here again so you can see them coming out on Friday and you'll be able to, they're limited release though, so you have to uh, be on the ball. They come out Friday, so don't miss them. Friday is when you can order them off the Essential Stencil website. That's when they'll be going up there. And they are, you would just be able to look up horse. Now, Oops, I feel like I had a little bit too much on my brush. You hear me? Uh, oops. <laughs> Got sort of nice rustic wood looking background with this chocolate colour. All right, so that is the Wild as the West stencil. We haven't finished yet. We're gonna add a horse transfer right down in here. So let's just pop the lid on there. And then I'll go on with our second sign, which is gonna be Life is Better on the Farm with a fun horse transfer on that. Scissors, I did have scissors here. The horse that I picked that I thought would best suit these ones. <clears throat> Is this little guy over here. So see these two really large horses. There's a smaller version of them right here, which is beautiful. All you have to do for the transfers is cut out around the transfer that you're going to use for your project. <clears throat> You'll need a transfer tool. Now you don't have to use one of these, you don't have to get them, but they're really handy. They've got a good um, grip handle on them. Um, but you can also use things like a store card something like that to rub on. All right, so I'm just gonna sit my horse on top of the horseshoe stand right there in the middle. So we remove the white paper backing sheet and then we're left with the transfer on this clear plastic part here. Now, you, when, once you place it, don't move it because if you pick it up, it might stick and ruin your transfer. So we wanna just pull it, place it right down where we want it. So I'm thinking, go up further up the top. I want its hooves to just go a little bit on, on there. So I'm going to rub it all over generally. You can do that with your hands. Then I'm going to rub really hard to make sure it's adhering well. And you can start to lift up the transfer and see the plastic sheet will now come away from the transfer. If you see that the transfer is still stuck to the plastic, lay it back down and keep rubbing because it hasn't quite come off the plastic. Gorgeous tail. These are beautiful images. You can imagine all the fun you could have with these. So these, if you've just joined me now, these are going to be a limited release released on Friday. So if you want some of the horses, um, To jump on the website on Friday, essentialstencil.com. It's gorgeous. All right, so now we have our backing sheet is all off. Now we just need to, I would seal the whole project. Um, I didn't bring my sealer, but you can just use a clear polycrylic spray or something like that. But there you go, there's a nice close up. Wild as the West, aren't they just adorable? So let's have a look at our second project today, which is going to be another one of these huge large horses. This is the huge board that I'll be doing this one on. And I don't know the measurements. I can measure that in just a minute. Okay, so this one, I wanted to use the Life is Better on the Farm stencil for the top, which I'll probably do in that chocolate color again. So here's <clears throat> where the stencil's gonna go, and then we're gonna put our large transfer down the bottom. I love the size of these, just beautiful. I'm gonna use this one, because he's in a barn. So he looks like he's on the farm. 
can imagine you could put some of your farm animal friends around it. So some of these smaller horses might actually um, be similar in size to some of the farm set on the farm transfers which I cut up and put in the little packets so they might go nicely in size with some of those as well. All right so offloaded the brush as much as I can and now making sure it's all sort of centered I can just do a nice swirly motion depending on the surface that you're working on see how I don't know if you, if you were here before when I did the other one it took a little while longer it really does depend on the surface sometimes how fast the paint goes down and goes on. So that one it was kind of soaking up or um, in the wood, the wood is more porous. This one it seems a lot more smooth and the grain is more together. And once again if you look at your stenciling and you think mm, I think I need it to be a little bit darker than what it's turned out it's so much easier to go over with a second coat once this has dried. So do make sure that your paint has dried in your stencil first before you do your second coat. And the reason that's really important is that if you go on a, with a second coat and the first coat hasn't quite dried, then the second coat can sometimes pull away the first coat. I've seen that happen before have had that experience so I'm just letting you know been there done that so make sure it's really dry you can hit it with the hairdryer if you're impatient like me uh, and just make sure that that's fully dried before you go on with your second coat you can always have a peek underneath and lay the stencil back down to get that second coat but the reason we just want a really nice thin first coat at least is so that we don't get that bleeding underneath the stencil. We get nice crisp edges, that's what we're aiming for in the stencil. Oh, every now and then get a little bristle from the brush, but it really does not happen often with essential stencil brushes. Really well made. Yes, Joyce Ann's reminding us that the new transfers are for release. They're only released this Friday, and it's a limited release, and so if you do want those, you might want to order Friday. All right, I think we have finished that part. And so this is a whitewash background. I forgot to mention that as we were starting this transfer with the horse right now. So I've just whitewashed the background of this um, live edge kind of wood piece. And we've got a beautiful, nice crisp lettering there. And I think that's perfect. I don't think we need a second coat. I like that. So here is now our transfer. So this comes in a set of two sheets of horse transfers. Where's my other one? Right down here. And it's just simply called horse. And it comes with these two sheets. See the gorgeous examples right there. And these will be released on Friday. I've already cut out those two for these projects here. So I've cut that out. I just want my tool. I'm going to put it exactly where I want it. So we move the white backing and we're left with just the transfer. You want to be really careful to put it exactly where you want it. Safe in a barn. Life is better on the farm. There we go. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. They're nice and large. I remember the large cow prints as well. There's the Highland cow. And so I'm just rubbing this all over with our transfer tool. You can get these on the website of essentialstencil.com. You can use a store credit card. Let's just have a look at the edge here as I'm peeling back. I just want to make sure it's um, peeling back just fine. This one seems to be coming off just nicely. So we've got the Wild West um, six pack. It's Wild as the West is the one that I did this sign with. Oh, this one's coming off nicely. On this side, it's being up. Just have to go really gradually. And like I said before, if you do see any of the transfer actually 
sticking to the plastic still and staying on there, just lay it back down exactly where it came off and Wow, this is looking, I just found myself a new method, you guys. I'm just holding my hand gently on the top, so maybe you want to try this method and rolling it back. Yeah, perfect. I love it. And they do feel so smooth to, and they seem to, you know, you can sort of see the grain of the wood underneath. They're a little bit opaque on the ed edges and areas, but I'll hold that up nice and close because it really, they are just really a beautiful transfer. And then we've got the life is better on the farm look there. So what do you think of those? I am so excited. Aren't they pretty? So Friday, the horses bolt from the paddock. Is that how we say it? Bolt from the stall and they will be ready for release on Friday. So, uh, and there's also that bundle I showed you today um, that is great value with the life, uh, Better on the Farm it's called. Absolutely gorgeous, Bonnie says. Yeah, aren't they? Wild as the West, there's another fun idea for your little horse coming out of the horseshoe right there. And the two-tone kind of idea. Hope you learned something valuable from those today. So there's our today's projects. We've got horses coming. They haven't bolted from the stall yet. They come on Friday. So just letting you know that's the new horses transfer that will be available on Friday. I'll see you again next week for another fun live DIY. Bye.